Welcome back guys. Um, my brother 3D printed us a bridge. It's about seven feet long, pretty sure. Um, it, but we started from there, from that one section there, about, and this is about six foot. So I got it all mocked up. I got a few things to do. So this is gonna be our trolley line. What I wanted to do, um, just to do a like abandoned bridge and just have like a train on it. That's what I was thinking. But one of the guys said it'd be kind of cool if we done a trolley on it. So it, it'll it'll start inside the mountain, come back out, and it'll come about right here, and then it stop, and then and it'll work way in. So I got to pick. And then, um, still working on it a little bit. It might be a railroad station here on top of this. So that's what I'm thinking. Let's go on the other side real quick. So what I got to do now, I got to come up about midway here up in here, take all this out, take the trees out, and then I got to carve in a section of track, or I mean not track, a section to carve the mountain out, and that way I can put this in there, and then mock out where I want the track, and about halfway, I don't know, in here, it'd be open, and that way if there's a train derailment, I can get in here. But in the back, but in the front of it here, it'd be all closed in. So yeah, so once I get this all carved out, I can set this this way a little bit. But man, video doesn't do it justice, but that's awesome. Uh, I believe this is nine inches tall, I believe. Let's talk about that. But all in all, it looks really good. I like it. Never figure I have a bio duck on top of the layout, which is really awesome. So all we have to do now, I got the track and everything. I just need to come up with the um, reverser you can buy online on eBay, I think for like 22 bucks. Watch upon a guy on YouTube, it shows you how to wire it all up. It's really simple. So we're gonna get one of those. And I think that's it now. Oh, a trolley. That's the other step. Anyway, um, all right. Be more. Wait, there's more. All right, so I had to get some uh, dynamite. Little guy blew up uh, side of the mountain. They got the tunnel port put in. Had to notch out down below for the uh, I don't know what you call it, the, the bottom piece of the bridge. But I tell you what, that looks so cool. And I can't wait to to get the uh, reverser off of eBay. And I can't wait to see the trolley and stuff go back and forth. But I'll show you what I did in the mountain real quick. Okay, now we're on the other side of the, the mountain. So I had to, uh, luckily I did foam all in here a long time ago. So I just carved everything out. And then the part of the bridge sits right in here. And then it sits flush right here. And one of the club members gave us a tunnel port. And I'm finally using this one now. Because I really didn't know what I'm going to do with it. But now I do. And I glued the track in place. So I have to cut a piece of, piece of track here out. And uh, we'll put the um, the piece that goes in here for the auto reverser. And I thought about putting the power supply and stuff in here, but probably up in here for the power. So of being in the middle, that way there's no wires or anything you can't see. So I can't wait. So all I have to do is wait to let this dry overnight. And then maybe Saturday or something, come back out here and put plaster on it and stuff. So yeah, so when you look inside the mountain, there's no supports or anything. So when I was working inside here, I had a window screen. It's what holds the mountain up. So I was ripping all that out, and then most of it came on down anyway. So now there's no screen holding this up. It's all done with plaster cloth. But there's a little bit of plaster or uh, screen up in there. It's the only thing that's left. But I tell you what, it's pretty... Pretty strong. 
turn off my little light. So yeah, so all I have to do is make some uh, castings and stuff out of newspaper, or not newspaper, tin foil. My bad. And have some castings of rocks and stuff on this side here. And then I'll plant some more. I'll put my grass and my trees up in here. Maybe, I don't know, maybe put, maybe leave this white. I don't know yet. We'll see what happens. And I'll show you what the bridge looks like. The lighting ain't the greatest. But I painted all black. Then I rusted it all up. Like I said, it's hard to see. There we go. Hands free. So I got a little bit of rust there. And this is all done with spray cans. Okay. All right. I'll see you guys later. Tell me what you guys think. And also, um, we have an Amazon wish list. Free to go for, it's on my about page. Please go and check it out and uh, send us some stuff. All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.